Jessa Jeremiah is here to tee up the weekend that goes from everything from, let's see, science to dance to all kinds of theater and the World Series trophy. Let's kick it off with sports. All of that. We Let's really we are covering a lot today. I yes. like how you summed that up for Go us. For it. Thank you. Okay, so our very own Marcus Walsh is going to be out to cover this first one on Sunday the 31st. Mm -hmm. This is a big deal. The yeah. Atlanta Braves World Champions Trophy Tour. It's also a mouthful. Is coming to Hilton Head Island. Uh, for folks who have been paying attention to this, you may have noticed 151 stops is how many wow. stops they're making. So this yeah. is uh, this is truly a tour all summer long, but we get to have it here on the island at the Island Rec Center, the 31st again. So this is a, an event for the whole family. Mm -hmm. You can bring the kids. There's mm -hmm. going to be food. They're going to be doing uh, the Braves game on a jumbotron, sure. so you can watch the game. Uh, and then there's going to be opportunities to take a photo with the trophy. Yeah. So you could. Check that off your bucket list if it's on there. The only downside of that is it's not the Stanley Cup. You can't drink out of it. <laughs> the right. World Series trophy. You can't can't put drink out. Oh. No, All no, right. no. What else we have? <laughs> All right, we're gonna head to Savannah for yep. two events this okay. weekend. On Sunday the thirty-first, the Comic Con is happening in Savannah. Okay. I've been to one Comic Con in my life, <laughs> and I have to tell you, even though I am not really a comic book fan per se, I had a blast at this event. <laughs> it's really fun and you know goofy, and that's yes. up my alley. Uh, in historic Savannah, this is happening both days, the 30th and the 31st. So make sure and stop by 11 to 4. You know, geek culture fans, lots of folks like to dress up for these events. Sure. You get to meet some, you know, fun superhero folks that have played in movies and, and starred in different things over the over the years. So that'll be a good one. Indeed. Uh, if while in Savannah, you may yeah. as well stay Saturday night and dance the night away. Why not? I mean, when in Savannah. That's right. Uh, Fiesta Latina Dance Party is oh, happening. Oh, oh, is that going to be fun? A lot of fun. In yeah. fact, I have to brag on the band that's going to be playing. Yeah. There's a salsa band coming from Florida that is a 14-piece Afro-Cuban salsa orchestra. Oh. I mean, that's got to sound really cool. Absolutely. So drink specials, dance the night away. Tickets are $20 per person, and you don't have to buy them in advance. You can just buy them at the door, show up, ready to have a good time. Oh, Wear your flats, ladies. Yeah. With, you I was going to say, you, you, you want to be comfortable shoes, please, because yes. you will be dancing. You will. A little science this weekend, too. Yeah, this is fun. I like to highlight things for the kids mm -hmm. because, you know, as a mom myself, I'm always looking for great events to bring them to. Um, random acts of science little play on word kindness there. Uh, I've talked about the Children's Museum of Pooler a couple times in these warm-ups, and that's because it seems like every weekend they have something different going on for the kiddos. Uh, sometimes there's extra fees involved with mm -hmm. different activities. This one you get for free with the price of admission. Great. And it's essentially like a mini science fair uh, this Friday, so you got to get there on Friday, 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. There's an opportunity to engage in different science topics and experiments and just some fun for the kids. And, I, and, and file them away because your kid's going to have a science project due in the next year and something could maybe plays off of that. Would there be you good. go. Yeah, yeah, a great way to kind of get in there. Get some take notes. Take notes, exactly. Another one for kids is happening on Saturday. Um, this one I had to get my head around a little bit. It's mm -hmm. called Links for Kids. This is put on by the Marine Corps Family Team Building Organization. Okay. And it's taking place in Beaufort from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. on Saturday. So a Essentially what they're doing is they're helping kids understand their superpowers. And I think that's kind of neat because, you know, we think about, you know, our children and really trying to build them up in their mm -hmm. lives and set them in a good path for confidence. So it helps them decide things about themselves that they like, like are you strong, are you smart, are you mm -hmm. funny? And then how do you use those skills in life? And there's going to be some interactive workshops and games and so a good one. Registration required for this one though, okay. so make sure you call the number on our screen or visit the website and pre-register for that event. Great stuff. Yes. All right. One more thing. Last but not least, uh, theater fans, Newsies Junior is happening all weekend long Friday at 7 p.m., Saturday at 2 p.m., and Sunday at 3 p.m. So this is the Bluffton Youth Theater's production of Newsies on the main stage community theater. Fantastic. Great yeah. stuff. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks, Bob. If you can't find something to do this weekend, you're, you're not, not doing it right. Oh, you weren't listening. <laughs> <laughs> thanks to all our guests for making us just a little bit smarter, and thanks to you for joining us.